Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about an exciting feature in Logseek, Page Banners. Logseek is not just a great note-taking app for personal knowledge management, but it's also incredibly customizable with the help of themes and plugins. One of our favorite plugins is the Banners for Logseek plugin, which allows you to add page banners in Logseek just like you see them in Notion. So if you're ready to personalize and beautify your Logseek pages, let's dive right in. First thing first, let's install the banners for Logseek plugin. It's super easy. Just click on the three dot menu and choose the plugins option. Now go to marketplace, search for banners and click on the install to install the plugin. You will notice that the banners plugin has already added page banners on all our pages, but this is just the start. You can customize almost everything about the banners and even add calendar, weather and other widgets. Here's everything we are going to cover in this video. We'll first show you how you can customize the default banner images and icons for pages. Then we will show you how you can set different page banners and icons for individual Logseek pages. We will then cover how you can add and customize widgets in Logseek banners. And finally, how to hide banners on certain Logseek pages if you don't want banners to appear on specific Logseek pages. So now let's start with customizing the default banner images for our pages. To do this, you will need the link of an image you want to use. You can use online images or ones uploaded into your Logseek directory. For this guide, we will be using Unsplash as our image source as it has a vast collection of free images. So let's first open Unsplash to get the link for our image. Click on the image you want to use. Let's use this image. Now click again to magnify it. Right click on it and choose the open image in a new tab option. Go to that tab and copy the link for the image. Now go back to Logseek. Click on the three dot menu, choose the settings option and select plugins. Here, go to banners and scroll down until you see the journal and home settings option. Changing the image here will change the banner images in all our daily notes page or general pages. So just delete this link and add the link of our image that we have copied and it will change the banner image in our daily notes pages. To change the image of our notes page, go to common page settings and change the image here. Let's click out of it to see if our change has applied. As you can see, we have changed the image in our daily notes page. If you open another page, you can see that we have changed the image in our other Logseek notes pages also. Other than the banners images, the banners for Logseek plugin also adds an icon to the page. You can also customize this icon. To do that, again, go back to the settings menu, go to plugins, choose banners, and scroll down to find the icon here, you can change the icon to make it anything. Let's launch the emoji picker in Mac by holding control, command and space. Search for calendar. I will use this one. Similarly, you can go down and change the default page icon here. Now if you cross and go back to our directory, you will see that the new icon is showing. Now our Logseek pages have beautiful banner images that we have selected. If you want to show random images as banners, you can paste the following links instead of links to specific images. The first link shows us the random featured images and the second link shows us the random unsplash photo of the day. You can find this link in the video description below. Here we will show you how you can use it. Just copy the link, go back to the settings, plugins, banners, and just replace the link for our image with this random image generator link. As you can see, it has added a new photo and this photo will change every day. Now your Logseek pages have beautiful banner images, but what if, if you want different banners for individual pages? Well, the banners for Logseek plugin has got you covered. You can set different banner images for different notes if you wish. Let me show you how. Let's go back to our demo page where we want to change the image. First, copy the image you want to use. So we'll go back to our browser and choose an image. Let's say we want to use this image. Again, we'll open in a new tab copy its link and go back to Logseek. To set different page banners and icons for individual Logseek pages, we'll be using the properties feature in Logseek. It's actually quite simple. In the first bullet point of your page, type banner, two columns, space, and add the link of the image. If you also want to change the icon, hit enter, type page slash icon, two colon, and add the icon you want. Let's say we want to use this icon here. Now click out of the attributes area. 
and as you can see we have changed the page icon and the page banner image here now we have set different page banners icon for individual pages now let's see how you can add and customize widgets in logsic banners first we will see how to add calendar widgets in logsic banners to add a calendar widget we will have to install another plugin go to the three dot menu and choose the plugins option here go to marketplace and choose block calendar install the plugin now quit out of it now let's open the plugin setting go to three dot menu settings plugins and block calendar here in the always render location click on the drop down menu and choose the custom option in the field below always render in paste the following you will find this in the description or in our written guide so just copy and paste it here now again select the banners plugin and let's decide where the calendar will be visible by default it's only visible in the journals pages but if you want you can choose to show it everywhere let's select everywhere now go back and you will see that the calendar is visible let's open our demo page the calendar is visible here also now let's see how we can add remove or edit the weather widget in the logsic banner keen eyed people would have noticed that the weather widget is already visible however this weather widget is not seeing the weather for your location to show the weather forecast of your location we will have to add our own widget code to create our widget code we'll have to go to the indify notion widgets page we have it already open here we'll provide the link in the video description which you can use to come back here here sign up using your google account or email address once you sign up this is the page you will see click on the weather widget and give it a title let's give it a simple title and then click the continue button as you can see it has generated the widget now in this section enter your area let's say we live in london so we'll just search for london and add it here now you can choose the unit from imperial to metric in the number of days section select two as we don't want the weather widget to take all the area in our banner image if you want you can customize even more things but let's just copy the link here and go back here paste the link anywhere and copy this last area this is our widget code now delete the rest to add the weather widget code of our area go to the settings menu then plugins then banners and here in the widget weather id add the weather id we have copied click out of it click on the cross button now it will show you the weather of your area moving on now we'll cover how you can show quotes on logsic banner images you can show any quote in your logsic directory on the banner images you just need to add a certain hashtag for example here's a quote we have used with our hashtag thoughts to make it show up in our banner images just go to the settings menu plugins banners and now go back to find the widget tag replace it with your tag and you are set as you can see our quote is now visible if you want this quote to be visible everywhere and not just on general pages you will have to enable it by going to settings plugins quotes and select everywhere now if you go back to our demo page the quote is visible here now our page banner customization in the final stages you will notice that there's a pomodoro timer here if you don't need this we can disable it to do that again we will go to the settings plugins banners and find the custom widget code option here either delete this or turn it off now you will see that the pomodoro timer is gone now what if you want to hide banners on certain logsic pages well there are two methods first you can delete the default banners images for all pages except daily notes or journal pages in the banners plugin setting go to common page settings and delete this link what this will do is that delete the banner on all pages other than daily notes page then you can use the individual page method to add the banner that we showed earlier in the video the second way is to keep this open so that the banner is visible on all pages and just disable it for specific pages to disable banner for specific page all you need to do is type banner colon false that's it this will remove the banner from this page if it's not done automatically just go back to some other page and come back and it will be gone and there you have it you now know how to set page banners in logsic and make your notes even more beautiful and personalized 
If you want to explore further customization options like banner and icon sizing, spacing and more, you can do that by going to the plugins option and checking out all the settings that are here. That wraps up our guide on setting page banners in Logseek. I hope you find it helpful and fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to check out our other Logseek guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.